Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 16th of October. India's Foreign Minister Jay Shankar holds key meet with Vietnamese counterpart. Week after devastating quakes, another powerful jolt shakes western Afghanistan. And Sri Lankan president arrives in China as debt talks progress. And now for all the details. India's Foreign Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar on Monday co-chaired the 18th India-Vietnam Joint Commission in capital Hanoi with his Vietnamese counterpart Bui Thanh Son. Taking to microblogging site X, J. Shankar said the discussions between the two sides covered wide range of topics including cooperation in political, defense and maritime security. He expressed confidence that comprehensive strategic partnership between India and Vietnam will only further strengthen over the coming years. During the visit, the Indian Foreign Minister also unveiled commemorative stamps celebrating 50 years of establishment of diplomatic ties between New Delhi and Hanoi. And India's evacuation mission, Operation Ajay, to bring back Indian nationals from war hits Israel is in full swing. So far, more than 900 Indians have arrived back in India in four chartered flights, with more flights in the pipeline as the war between Palestine-based terror group Hamas and Israel rages on. The West Asian country hosts around 18,000 Indian nationals. Evacuees have shared harrowing experiences amid escalating tensions and constant threat of attacks and thanked the Indian government for ensuring their safe return. From I didn't face any kind of difficulty to reach India because uh, our government has helped a lot and uh, Modi government has done a wonderful job. Like we registered in a day and we just got out in two days. In the latest, Israel had imposed a full blockade and was preparing a ground invasion to enter Gaza and destroy Hamas, which has continued to fire rockets at Israel since its brief cross-border assault. On Monday, rocket warning sirens sounded in several towns in southern Israel, the Israeli military said. Israeli troops and tanks are already massed on the border. Well, female health workers in POK held a massive sit-in protest recently to demand regularization of their services and bring them on normal budget. They alleged they have been facing years of discrimination by authorities in the occupied region. Hundreds of female employees of the Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Program staged a massive protest in POK recently to demand regularization of their services and bring them on normal budget. The protesters lamented that it's been nearly 15 years since their induction, but some of them still get just 8,000 rupees of salary. They said despite being promised a raise in salaries, the hike has been delayed due to bureaucratic blockade. The protesters blamed that this is not the case in Pakistan, where employees have been regularized, but the people in the occupied region still do not have access to equal rights and have to face exploitation. And an earthquake of 6.3 magnitude rocked western Afghanistan's Herat on Sunday, killing one and injuring 35 people. The latest to hit a region where entire villages have been flattened and over 4,000 have been killed by a series of quakes this month. Since October 7th, a series of potent quakes have jolted the area, burying families and leaving thousands homeless as winter approaches. Some residents are living in tents as they say their homes are not strong enough to encounter the earthquakes. بیرو بودیم زلزله شد دیگر نفهمیدیم به خود با اولاد کنه میفهمیدیم وقتی که کمی قرار شد که بیام بودیم مدرمی بچه هم اینجا بفتاده بود کلو خوبالی بفتاده بود خوشلوچی از هم خوده ای بوده که پای شکسته مدر از ایکو شهید شد برا Meanwhile, the U.S. in the statement said that it is providing $12 million in immediate humanitarian assistance for Afghanistan following the multiple earthquakes. 
Afghanistan has faced crippling cuts in aid in the two years since the Taliban took over. Moving on, Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe on Monday arrived in Chinese capital Beijing to attend the Belt and Road Forum. In the four-day-long official visit, Vikramasinghe will participate in the 10th anniversary Belt and Road Forum and is expected to hold bilateral engagement with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping on the sidelines of the forum. The visit comes at a time when crisis hit Sri Lanka is making progress on debt restructuring talks with its biggest lender, China. The island nation is also working with other key bilateral creditors, including Japan and India, on reaching a debt restructuring plan to push forward its first review of the IMF program in order to release the second tranche of about $334 million. An Indian space research organization, ISRO chairman S. Omnath on Sunday informed that the space agency has lined up a series of exploration missions, including to the Mars, Venus and to the Moon again. Speaking about the Gaganyaan program, he said the first test flight for the mission will take place on 21st of October. The Gaganyaan project envisages a demonstration of human space flight capability by launching a crew of three members to an orbit of 400 km for a three-day mission and bringing them back safely to the Earth by landing in Indian sea waters. Uh, primarily, we are uh, working on a Gaganyan program, human space flight program, which uh, launch is going to take place now. We also have uh, exploration missions. We have plans to go to uh, Mars, Venus, again sometimes to Moon. Meanwhile, the central government has issued a notification that August 23rd will be observed as National Space Day to commemorate the success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. India became the first country to land near the South Pole of the Moon with the success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. And Hindu devotees across India on Monday offered prayers and performed rituals on the auspicious Chardha Navratri festival. The nine-day-long festival is dedicated to the nine forms of Durga, the goddess of power. Hindu devotees across India thronged temples since early morning on Monday to offer prayers on the second day of the Sharda Navratri festival. There is a goddess manifestation linked with each day of Navratri and the second day of the festival is dedicated to goddess Brahmacharini who is worshipped for emancipation and endowment of peace and prosperity. It is believed by worshipping this form Virtues such as penance, renunciation, dispassion and restraint improve inherently. Today's day, the bhaktas and the sadhaks are the mother of 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 the mother अपने कार्यों को सिद्ध करें और आप हमें इस प्रकार का वरद है इस प्रकार का वरदान दें इस प्रकार लोग अपने मन की इच्छाए मां के समक्ष प्रस्तुत करते हैं जय माता सिमिलर सीन्स वर विटनेस्ड इन इंडिया सूरत एंड हरिद्वार वेयर डेविटीज वर सीन प्रेइंग एंड ऑफरिंग फ्लावर्स टू द आइडल ऑफ द गॉडेस द फेस्टिवल कंक्लूड्स ऑन द नाइन्थ डे व्हेन इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट द गॉडेस शक्ति टेक्स द फॉर्म ऑफ गॉडेस दुर्गा टू किल द डीमन महिषासुर it is considered amongst the five most sacred festivals according to the Hindu religion. माँ से तो यही मांगते हैं विश्व का कल्याण हो समाज का कल्याण हो घर में सुख शांति हो और बहुत अच्छे दर्शन माँ के हुए हैं और माँ मनसा माँ चंडी का विशेष महत्व है हरिद्वार में सरदारियों के साथ साथ स्थानीय निवासियों की भी भारी तादाद में भीड़ और बहुत अच्छे दर्शन और साथ ही बहुत अच्छी व्यवस्था माँ मनसा और चंडी देवी प्रांगण में ट्रस्ट द्वारा की गई है. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see same time tomorrow. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.